This was the scene out of Opelika this morning. A massive fire burning through equipment and dozens of cars in a junkyard, sending thick plumes of black smoke into the air. The owner says more could have been done to save his business if the fire department would have gotten there in time. CBS 4's Gary Nelson live in Opelika with more on this. Gary. Well, it was quite the uh, spectacular fire here this morning. One that the fire department, through no fault of its own, was delayed in getting to. Uh, for that, for the same reason that we're about seven blocks away now from where that fire occurred. Take a look. Flames shot high in the morning air at the Quadruple-A car recycling plant in Opelika. The blaze erupting about 9.30 when workers using a welding torch and metal cutting saw somehow sparked it up. These fires can be particularly dangerous because cars contain lots of stuff that burn and can blow up. There's a lot of flammable equipment. There's always gas and oil left over in these vehicles. The tires can explode, uh, the, the contaminants, the carcinogens that the kind of fire puts out. The owner of the junk lot says help was seriously delayed by the road leading to the business, a road unpaved with lots of large, deep holes and mud. We really about the spree because the firefighters, they take too long to get in here because the condition of the spree. If no asking to the firefighter, they, get, they take too long to get in here because the spree. The view from Chopper 4 revealed the fully involved fire not being fought at first because fire trucks had not been able to arrive. But you can tell uh, with your own video that I'm sure you shot of the road conditions that it is in pretty bad conditions and our large pieces of fire equipment do have a difficult time accessing in the conditions this road is at. The owner hasn't begun to gauge his losses, but junk cars are worth the sum of their resellable parts, and that can amount to a pretty penny. Now, Opelika for decades was mismanaged. There was a lot widespread corruption. The city spent itself into bankruptcy, millions of dollars worth of debt. Two years ago, the governor appointed a state emergency financial oversight board to hold the purse strings around here. Well, it's a pretty much empty purse. Opelika scarcely has two nickels to rub together, let alone the means to pave its streets. We're live in Opelika, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.